City Man. Hey, it's Sam Fear coming to you from SFGE 2022. We are in the Citizen section of the um, of the conference, and you can see the Citizen fans are pouring in. Do you have a favorite Citizen character? Is that like a Sex and the City spin-off? Yes. I've never seen that show, sorry. Rock band or video game? Wonder Boy. Uh, that sounds more like a video game or a band game, but I'm probably more about that. Nope, you're, this is an easy one. <clears throat> Pac-Man? Waka 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 waka. That's an arcade game. Pac-Man Fever. Okay, then I have a... Bam. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for playing. Here we see Jim Brain's 8 megabyte internal expansion for the Commodore 64. Fascinating. He also had a Turbo Master CPU replica, as well as a SD solution for the Texas Instruments Compact Computer 40. Well, that's pretty cool. Have you ever seen an Atari 800XL track the position of a real satellite in real time? Well, they had that there with the FujiNet. They also had the Meatloaf, which is the Commodore 64 version of the FujiNet. Jamie Idol put Scott with us after the show, and we're going to be getting our own ESP32s and building our own Meatloafs to help out. Find out more at FujiNet.online or Meatloaf.cc. As always, the links will be in the description of the video. Hey, do you need a little mini console or vintage computer to put on your desk at work to try and get that promotion? Well, this guy's got you covered. He's even got a Commodore 64 in a box. They also make Apollo 11 console replicas. I think we should get one of these for the city's in van so we can impress all of our passengers. That's fantastic! Hey look, it's Anthony from the Guru Meditation, which is funny because he stopped by and we didn't even realize who we were talking to at first. And then I was like, wait a minute, you look familiar. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. Here's Zamfir with Jim Brain. We got to shake hands with him and talk to him a little bit. It was pretty awesome too. We were able to recommend a really good barbecue place to him and he appreciated it. Here's Earl, the president of the Atlanta Historical Computer Society. There were so many awesome people there, and it's such a great honor to actually meet and shake hands with people that are passionate about vintage computing. Now we're going to show you some vendors that we thought were really cool. What you're looking at is some custom woodwork that's been painted and shellacked, and it looks really cool. And these guys are called 8-Bit Zero, so check them out. Nurpesh from Seven Raven Studios stopped by our booth and uh, shared his passion for the Commodore 64. Seven Raven Studios makes games for consoles, PCs, and mobile, so check them out. There was a nice young lady that uh, was from the Evergreen Borough that asked if we wanted to use her cart to move our stuff in. And that's just freaking awesome, you know? So yeah, go check her website out. This is Circus Core. He makes glass lights, decorations, dice trays, coasters, bookmarks, lightning swords, cutting boards, crosses, deck boxes, furniture. He's really good with woodworking and he's pretty cool too. He was at the after party with us so we got to talk to him a little bit more one on one. Pretty awesome guy. This van was out in the loading area on the second day and it looks like it's got a Frank Frazetta death dealer painting on it. That's fantastic. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy PMG. This is PMG, also known as Popcorn Movies Games. He stopped by our booth and checked us out and gave us a little shout out. I checked out his channel and he's got some really cool visual effects experiments videos he's been doing. So yeah, check him out too.
So here it is, it's towards the end of August, and um, I've been really procrastinating on getting the voiceover footage to, to deadline here. So we're a little late with um, with our SFGE 22, 2022 video. Uh, so that's, um, that's all on me, people. But let me tell you about the after party. The after party was amazing. So it was, um, it was sponsored by, um, by Jersey Jack Pinball, uh, Honey Factory, Mad Pinball, hosted at Oasis Arcade LLC. in Lithia Springs, uh, Georgia. And Oasis Arcade is an absolutely incredible property that you've just got to, to see to believe. So the owners of, of Oasis, um, in addition to having a tiny house that you can rent um, on the property and have access to a pool and a party deck and all this amazing stuff, the the namesake, the Oasis Arcade part, is what you've got to see to believe. He's got arcade games, pinball, air hockey, uh, and it's just like stepping into... Um, to the arcades of the of the 80s it's it's absolutely absolutely amazing now one of the things you can see here is that there's a heavy emphasis on pinball and speaking with the with the owner at oasis it seems like pinball was um, was his first love and it really shows here but there's no shortage of incredible and fun arcade games so you really should check it out. We're going to have a link in the description, of course. And um, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, or even if you live here in Atlanta, trust me, it's, it'd be worth it to rent the um, Airbnb for a night just to, to have access to, to the arcade. And it's separate from, from the owner's house, so you can go and play games at 2 o'clock in the morning if that's what you want. It's just absolutely incredible. But... This whole after party was an amazing experience, and um, a really big, big thanks to um, to the folks at uh, Mad Pinball um, for um, for orchestrating everything. And Jersey Jack um, played um, played the uh, brand new uh, Guns N' Roses table there. That was that was amazing. No, and I spoke with um, with Jeff at Mad Pinball about getting a machine, and he hooked me up with an awesome deal on a Stern Mandalorian machine, and I love it. So we'll be doing a video um, on that machine in an upcoming video. But if you want to talk to Jeff about getting your own pinball machine, we're going to have the link down in the description, of course. And there was a food truck, and the food was amazing. It was, um, was some of the best El Pastor. Um, that I've had in a, in a really long time. Um, and I worked in an area where we had um, consistently good uh, Mexican style street food and Al Pastor was just a favorite of mine. Um, but Trey Jardines, that's, that's fantastic. fantastic. My Spanish is terrible, y'all. But um, Trey Jardines, Trey Jardines, I'm not sure how you say it. but. However you say it, it was delicious and just fantastic food. So, again, you're here in the Atlanta area. Uh, check um, check your local food truck parks and stuff. You, you can't go wrong. Thank you.